Mr. Brock. In the 11 months you've been on YouTube, you've made, I mean, plagiarized over 150 videos where you attempt to articulate your, <laughs> I mean, other people's opinions on secularism. In these 11 months, you've been rhetorically barfing all over the legitimate discussions here on YouTube, and unfortunately, neither Auntie Boo nor I could ever bring ourselves to take your videos seriously. It's not because your opinions are never accompanied by evidence. It's not because you're an admitted plagiarist in nearly everything you've produced. And it's not because you're a poster boy for what H.G. Frankfurt would call a bullshit artist. Most people can't take you seriously because every one of your videos is riddled with fallacies. Now before I knew that you stole all your ideas, I thought you were simply hypocritical attempting to point out fallacious arguments in others while blatantly committing hundreds yourself. But in the context of your plagiarism, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt that you simply don't know what a fallacy is. And so as a favor, Auntie Boo and I have decided to clear things up and give you a brief lesson. Whoever makes the positive claim in a debate bears the burden of proof. In other words, the person making the positive claim actually has to provide evidence in favor of that claim. But burden shifting is where a person attempts to throw their burden of proof onto an opponent. You do just this at the end of your video, Atheist Faith Claims, where you challenge atheists to prove that there isn't a god. That reminds me, Brock. Somebody once sent me a PM telling me that you like to put number two pencils up your urethra. Can you prove that this isn't true? Because in all sincerity, if the lead snapped off, you could do some serious damage. An ad hom is the fallacy of attacking one's character rather than their argument. You demonstrate this fallacy in many of your videos, including Sam Harris is a bigoted atheist, atheist hypocrisy, and Hitler was an atheist. To put that into context, Brock, that would be like me saying, Brock Lawley licks Pat Robertson's dick. His position on education is therefore invalid. See how my argument is flawed here? Your unyielding passion for Pat's throbbing member has nothing to do with the validity of your claims on education. Similar to circular reasoning, begging the question is when you try to show your point by stating your point, which is shown in your video, God Made the Earth. When I say, Brock, your eyebrows are thicker than an Ayn Rand novel, and my reasoning for that is because your eyebrows are shit crazy thick, I'm begging the question. I haven't really said anything. The genetic fallacy is probably one of the lesser known logical fallacies. This is basically when an argument is made based on something's origin rather than its current context. For example, in your video, Darwinian Racism, A Scientific Grounding, you argue that evolution has extremely racist implications because Darwin used terms like savages and lower races. Similarly, I'd be committing the genetic fallacy if I said that because your religion was founded by a group of superstitious, scientifically ignorant bigots, and that makes you a superstitious, scientifically ignorant bigot. Okay, bad example, but I think you get my point. Equivocation is the misinterpretation of one meaning of a word for another. An example of this might be you saying, I love God, and me replying with this artist's rendering of Brock sodomizing Jesus. You see, I've misinterpreted your use of the word love to mean vigorously reaming your lord in the pooper. Silly mistake, really. Basically every one of your videos contains some sort of straw man. A straw man argument is changing the position of your opponent and arguing against points he or she doesn't actually hold. For example, Brock argues for intelligent design. Intelligent design is the belief that the universe came exploding out of his fat mother's vagina. You see Brock, because intelligent design isn't actually the belief that existence itself is your fat mom's queef, it's a straw man argument. Quote mining is simply the act of quoting out of context in a way which distorts the original meaning. For example, in your video Reagan vs. Obama, you intentionally cut one of Barack Obama's speeches to make it sound as if he's claiming to be a Muslim. But when you restore the part which you removed, it's clear that he was actually talking about having lived in a Muslim country. This sort of thing is very easy to do. Just watch. This is an announcement to YouTube at large. I literally cut and paste all these old, haggard, tired, refuted arguments. This channel has always been and will always be nothing but an incestuous 
high five convention. Why? Deny morality itself. Here's the truth, guys. A God cannot exist because there's way too much evil evident in this life. A God is so fraught with the illogical that one marvels in wonder at the modern day acceptance. The guy named Das American Atheist, who I am not terribly familiar with, sleeps with my wife. Therefore, God does not exist. An error of fact is just another way of saying a lie. Something that factually isn't true. For example, Brock wouldn't steal a thing. Uh, fact check. Or Brock makes original and stimulating videos. Uh, nope. Or Brock hates metrosexuals, and so therefore dislikes male modeling. Okay, let's see. Hates metrosexuals. Uh, up. Nope. Was a male model. <laughs> An argument ad populum is a logical fallacy where you claim that a proposition is true because a lot of people believe that it's true. In your video, Life After Death and an Atheist Faith Leap, you cite the prevalent belief in an afterlife as if that were actually evidence of an afterlife. This would be like if I took a poll of YouTube users and discovered that most people believe that you wear eyeliner in your videos. Just because everybody thinks you wear eyeliner, that doesn't mean you actually do. Although, your lashes are suspiciously striking. This is your basic logical fallacy, and it comes in many forms. It's basically any argument where premise A claims to show how premise B is true when it doesn't. For example, Brock loves to wear mascara. RuPaul loves to wear mascara. Therefore, Brock Lawley is a drag queen. Again, Brock, the similar taste in cosmetics does not show what it claims to show here. Don't be fooled. There are, of course, many other logical fallacies which you seem to use over and over and over again. Appeals to emotion, appeals to authority, the slippery slope fallacy, ad hoc fallacies, special pleading. Brock, you use more logical fallacies than hookers use condoms. So now that you're aware of some of these logical fallacies, we hope that maybe you'll be honest enough to make a few changes. But don't worry, we're not holding our breath.